All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to do something I've been meaning to do for a while, but just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, I think I'm going to start it from here on out. Maybe not every single week, but I'm going to start what I want to call um, Magicite Mondays. Where I just kind of jump in and play a couple runs of this game, Magicite, every Monday. Uh, it is an old gem from like 20, I believe it came out in 2014 from what I was looking at. And it was one of the very first games I played on PC on a crappy little laptop I had way back then with some friends from work. Um, it is a procedurally generated level based game where you have different like races and things like that and you're going through different levels to eventually reach the end boss going through different zones um, and there's different builds, stats, everything it's just a little roguelike game where you play runs and you try to get to the end boss and complete it and unlock things uh I really love the art style and the colors and just honestly pretty much everything about this game. Um, unfortunately, it hit, as you may have seen, version 2.0 and it has not been worked on since. Uh, the creator, Sean Young, moved on to make a sequel called Rogue Lands, which I think got even less into development. Like it didn't hit version 2.0, I don't believe. Maybe it did. I haven't looked in a while. And then he also moved on from that one to make another game. I've played a few of his games, but he's he's known to work on one for a bit and then drop and go to another one, which makes me really sad because they're all really good. Um, I've enjoyed all of them immensely, but we have our different things here. As you can see, we have our races. Um, I could, I suppose... delete all the data and start over oh no I should have done that ahead of time oopsies let me fix that there we go okay so since I decided to start making videos on this, I went ahead and, as you just saw, um, deleted all my data. So now we're starting out from the very beginning. We have two variants here. A little ponytail would be a girl, I'm assuming, and normal for boy. Uh, there's different hats that do different things, have different unlock requirements, as you can see. Same with the races. And then companions. And then as well as we can change our name. Oh, I guess we're just good old B because the rest doesn't fit. Uh, there is other modes, but we're just going to play normal mode. Well, there's madman mode. I, I assume it just makes it harder. I've never actually played it. Okay, but... And then we have our stats here, like I was saying. And you can just click them to re-roll them until you get something you want. <laughs> Excuse me. HP, obviously. Health attack is damage. Dexterity is damage with bows. And, um... I'm assuming stamina. And then magic is magic damage. And mana, I believe. And you can swap through. You have a bunch of different traits here. That do different things as well. And you can change all this stuff. Or you can just go into it without changing anything. But we're going to go ahead and do um, open golden chests. We're going to do healthy. And then we'll leave it at solid fours with the three decks. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and try this. But it's nice because it has a little um, crafting element too. Where it says shift click to do two items. So, for example, we'll come down here. Avoid these enemies. Just for the sake of... 
getting into the game. Um, different races start with different things too, but anyways, you'll come in here. For example, we'll split those up, we'll hold shift, and we'll combine them. And then and it makes one piece, and then we combine those, and it makes a wooden blade. Okay, so I know, for example, that you can do three sticks, and it makes a pickaxe handle. A blade and a pickaxe handle makes a pickaxe. Fairly simple. Straightforward. We got diamond eyed ore, because we start with random items. We got some raw meat. Um, our little inventory. So basically what we're going to want to do in the first couple areas is just to stock up on wood. And um, just kind of get started. Stay alive. Kill some stuff for some XP. You can see up above in the top left. Above our hot bar. We have an XP bar. Oh, and it's kind of it's kind of rough because in order to we're gonna put these down here. Oops, I didn't mean to. We're gonna put these down here. I have a mama hot bar for stuff. We're actually gonna make or let's what is it? There we go. I knew there was a way. Wooden two wooden planks, wooden blade, make a sword so we can actually kill stuff better. Uh, but we have an XP meter and money and everything, obviously. Camera follows the mouse. We have our health up here. Uh, hunger. Stamina, because we can dash with Q and E. And then mana. So what we're going to want to do is get levels. Kill stuff. Not die, because everything hurts in this game, and it is pretty easy to die if you're not careful. Um, and then, basically just keep moving over and get to the next zone. And you also want to just, always want to try combining stuff for different recipes. So, for example, I know that two herbs together make an HP potion, so I can use that and restore two health. So you right-click to use items. And like you can make ingots or refined bones out of bones. And if you combine two of those, you get blades. And then you can get bone weapons and stuff. And it does more than wood. So it goes, obviously like most games, it goes wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. Like a lot of crafting games that we know. Um, we have... We unfortunately, oh, speak to the devil. I was gonna say we haven't found any rocks yet, but you're also gonna want to mine rocks and just basically just work on collecting resources because you can combine two stone to make um, stone bars too. And then, if we were to, for example, do like I said, there's ranged attacks, and that's what dexterity is good for. So, if we did like four sticks. We can make an unstrung bow. So now we have to find a string. Um, which is going to, in this game, come from spiders that sometimes appear in these areas, but not always. The good thing about the starting areas is, although they are difficult um, to new players, just until you get used to the game, they're not too awful because there's a lot of the slimes and they drop health potions or herbs to make health potions. <laughs> <clears throat> and things like that quite a bit. Um, and if you do two potions together, you make a big potion, which more than doubles the healing of it. So it's it's really, like, I've played a lot and seen, used to watch videos on this and have, like, honestly just played the game enough to where I know most of the recipes. There's not a ton. Um, so you guys are lucky because you get to see. Obviously, I know what I'm doing already. But yeah. Uh, it's just a fun little game. There's going to be some more mechanics that we get into later, and you can do different builds. There's, like, you can make normal armor that helps with strength for just straight-up damage. Uh, you can make armor that raises dex for range damage. And, um, you can make mage armor. Okay, and every five levels that you hit, there's going to be a skill path up here that unlocks skills for Z, X, and C. And so we're going to go just straight up warrior first. 
And so we got, if we press tab, we can read it. It's a Guardian's Aura. You, take, you and nearby allies take four less damage for 10 seconds. Oh, we got a ring too. Oh, it does magic, but less HP. I don't think we're going to want that. We can sell that. Um, so what we're going to want to do is... If we're ever in like a big battle that we need to, we can hit Z. And then it activates our buff and it'll be on cooldown. Okay, now... I'm hoping with this stone we get a... No, we didn't. Dang it. A flint. So that we could cook our food. But you can eat it without cooking it. But cooking it is better because it has a chance to restore health. But since we got a stone blade, we are going to make another pick handle. Because you do have to have the next tier of item. Like uh, wood. And then we have to have stone. To get iron from breaking rocks. See, look now if we break it. We get ironite ore as well. As a stone. So you want to keep progressing up. Um, we will eat this piece of chicken. Because it's less common. And then, oh, and every time you eat something. Got a little nice pile of poop. So that's cute. But yeah, no, it's just a cute little game. Like roguelike game with crafting elements. And I just personally enjoy it a lot. Dang it, dude, I'm sucking. Um, I love the little charm. I love the graphics of it. It's just a fun little throwaway time waster game, and I'm sure you guys will start to see why as we get farther, but I'm trying not to get too distracted, talk too much, and overwhelm you guys with the information, so we're just going to keep going, keep getting into it. But yeah, I'm wanting to do this every Monday. Do Magicite Mondays where I just do a, like one or two runs. 20, 45 minutes, maybe an hour depending on how good we do. And yeah, see what happens. Um, two monster pelt hides turn into leather. We're going to need a lot of stuff. I don't remember exactly. See, and when you get to the end, you get to choose between different biomes. So there's like ice biomes and swamp. And then there will be other stuff later. I will tell you from experience. That I'm going to want to do the swamp biome. Because the ice biome is more difficult. Um, there's some... I don't remember what that does. But it's $500. Clearly we don't have that at this point. So we're going to come down here. There's different shops. So this guy. If you come in here and you talk to him. This is where you may use bars. To create the normal armor. So let's say like I had more ores. I'd put two ores in here to make one bar, and then when I got the three bars, I'd make a helmet, chest plate, shield, whatever, and equip them, and it would be better. However, we do not have enough for that, so we're going to come up here and look at this one. This is the one that it would be for... Um, leather armor, sorry. So you put, like, refined leather here. We'd put this here if we wanted to make it and we would make that and uh leather piece and when we get three studded leather pieces we can help make a helm and a chest piece they don't do as much protection but they do um give better dexterity like i was saying then there's also items you can buy if you're in need of something you can buy it the great blade you can make axes out of um, if I had $600, I'd consider that. Here's the magic one I was talking about, where you make cloth. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't quite remember how to make cloth. I think it's two leathers together. Or something of that nature. I don't really do the mage ones very often, because you can make wands and things of that nature. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is where you can sell... We'll have to do a mage run and I can bring it back and remember it, but um, you can sell items here in between every run. So if you don't need something like, for example, we won't need the bone. Uh, I don't think we're going to do leather. We're going to go strength build this time. We don't need that ring. See, and so now I have 160. Uh, something you do need to be aware of and be careful of is stuff is not worth very much money. Um, so just kind of watch out for that. We are going to buy this string, though. 
or sorry, spider web, because you use two spider webs, you can make a string and we can get ourselves a bow. And if you didn't notice, you use an ingot, ingot. And um, so you gotta, the thing is, each biome is gonna have different stuff. So like this one, magic guy down here shooting at me, those purple things that look like they may just be part of the environment actually can hurt you. So you gotta watch out. So it's like, there's going to be a learning curve. There's going to be different stuff. See, so we got a coal, not a flint, sorry, a coal. And so now we do a coal and a stone and we have a fire starter. So now we can come down here, throw down our fire starter. And then we can cook all our meats by right clicking on that fire. And now it restores more hunger and it has a chance for restoring health. It didn't that time, but it has a chance. We're actually going to drink this health potion. Top us off. Because you got to watch it. You can die way fast if you're not careful. Another thing is you can... If you didn't notice right there, you can cut bushes. Oh, that's what it is. It's a monster pelt. Two monster pelts make the... Make the... Um, cloth for the, for the magic. Come on, buddy. And this sucks because we don't have an iron pickaxe, so we're not going to be able to... That's yellow, so you would be able to get goldium. But we don't have an iron pickaxe, so we're just going to get stone from it. Oh, and your weapons break over time. I didn't... I never said anything about that, but they do. So we're going to make... Actually, a stone sword. But we're too full stuff. A vial of poison... I don't know why those are even useful, because you use them and they just hurt you. I don't need monster pelts for not doing magic. I already have food. I don't need that. So we're going to do... Make a sword hilt, which is a wooden plank and a stick. And the blade. And since that's about to break, we can throw it. And as you can see, stone does more than wood. Which makes sense. So let's keep going. Watch out for this magic guy. Oh, I'm... I promise I'm not purposely throwing, guys. I'm just... It's been a while. It's been a couple months. I'll go through... I noticed phases with this game where I will play a lot for a period of time. And then I won't play. See, we just got a health from eating. And then I won't play it for a while. And you gotta be careful because items are attracted to you, so they will come back. So I like to throw them off the little edge if I don't need them. It's more wood, just to be safe. There we go. It's definitely a little difficult until you get used to it. I remember I sucked really bad. Oh, it also has like... I was going to show you, but... Um, I didn't stay in there long enough. There is a, spun a Spelunky esque element to where if you stay in a level too long, then um, these enemies, I believe they're called Scourge, if I remember right, will come into the level and will hunt you down and will try to kill you. I don't believe it might be an insta kill. I honestly don't remember. It's either insta kill or they just do a lot of damage. Oh, we got another spider web from that bush. But now we got ourselves a bow. So now I can make a bunch of stone arrows. And now we can fight stuff from range if we want as well. So that's sick. I have that chest perk because I knew I was going to need it. So I can open that. And as soon as I made a bow, I got a fire bow. Awesome. There is durability on items. Like I said, they do break. So you do got to watch out. We just made that. So we're going to keep it for when this one breaks. Um, but yeah, we have a fire bow that has plus three dexterity, so now we're going to do even more damage when we shoot stuff. We got another coal, so we will make a fire starter because they're nice to have. And you do got to manage your inventory for what you want to do because there's not a lot of inventory space. We're actually going to go back here so we can try and get more herbs and get more healing. Okay, so now we're back here again, so we're going to come in here. And we're going to make um, some iron bars. 
Just a heads up, this is loud. I don't know how loud it's going to be. Oh, it's not so bad. But see, now we have three, so we can make... I could make an iron pickaxe, or I can make chain mail. But I'm going to make an iron pickaxe. Because I want to be able to get um, gold. So we can keep progressing. Keep this one and sell it to make what little money we can. Sell those, I suppose. Eat some more food. Poop on the ground, why not? We could do dex armor too, but I think we're just gonna keep rocking no armor for now. Oops. Okay, we're gonna sell these. We're gonna sell this. I really think we're just gonna go st strength build, so I think I'm gonna sell all this stuff. Fire starter, just in case we need it. Everything else I think is good. So we're gonna keep moving. Move on to the next area. Okay, we will kill this pig because we do need more meat. I dropped it last time, but I'm gonna need more meat. Come on, spider. Uh, using the bow, pretty straightforward. You just use a bow and right click, and you shoot an arrow. You can pick your arrows back up if you miss. You can use a bow to swing. Uh, see, so there's mushrooms. If you do a mushroom and an herb, it's a mysterious potion, so it could be a random effect. Um, so this could this could potentially hurt us. See, it was nice. Someone healed us. But it's always a chance. It could poison you, which has happened to me plenty of times. So you want to watch out. Um, if you get two strings, you can put them together. And you can make a bug net. And you combine it with a stick. You can catch these bugs. And then you combine them with sticks. And you can make wands. Or if you combine two bugs, it makes a gem. And then you put it on a stick and it makes a wand. So there's... Magic is a viable option. Um, because then does kind of depend on RNG how soon you get it and different wands do different things you can get like fire bugs you can get lightning bugs or ice bugs I believe those are the three types of magic see look we got gold from that one now these normal ones we're still only gonna get iron which is fine because we can always make armor out of it um, until we get more gold but we those um, yellow ones we can get actually get gold from now and that's why I like the first area you can get HP potions from normal slimes uh, we got a coal we got a cooked chicken so we're gonna eat that real quick actually I'm gonna turn all these into bars and then turn all those into arrows so we have plenty I think we're gonna cook real quick just so that we have room for stuff because we really don't need to fill our hunger that often so we don't need like a huge surplus of food by any means see we got a goldium we got coal I don't need the food right now so I'll put the health potion just in case some iron the inventory's a little full we might have to do some management later but for now we're good oh dang it I was going to try and show you guys, you can dash in the air. My fingers just aren't quick enough. It's been too long. Wow, I'm just taking all the damage. See? So, like, we don't want to fight. have to fight that guy and risk taking unnecessary damage. So we'll just shoot him a couple times with bow. And we're solid. So you gotta kind of keep pace, but at the same time you want to collect as much as possible to make sure you're prepared. Because I believe there's like 20 levels that you have to get through, 20 districts, and then it's a, a final boss. And it does progressively get harder, you get harder zones. See like this rock right here? Oh my gosh, there's a diamondite vein. 
So if I were to have a gold, uh, goldium pickaxe already, then we would break that and we'd get diamondite ore instead. Cool. I was a little nervous, but we did just fine there. I can still break it and get iron though, or at least stone. Yep, just stone. Your stats do go up with levels, if you haven't noticed. Um, it just depends. Like, we're at 10 max health now, 8 max hunger. It is a possibility. Um, we are going to go ahead and drink that. And then we're going to drop these because we don't need them. Okay, I wasn't close enough to the edge. It's my bad. We're going to split these. Make some more arrows. Give us some room. Um, we are going to split these. Combine those. There we go. Now we got a big potion. Keep that herb just in case we find one. We need monster hides. Food. We are getting a little hungry. So we'll eat that and get a little bit of health back. I will chop some more trees because we are almost out of sticks. The monster hides fine. We can get rid of it in a minute. Yeah, I just like the little pixel art level design. I like the lighting in it, the little sprites everywhere, and how everything has, like, green... Uh, depending on what level you're in, obviously, we're in a green forest area, so it's green backlighting for stuff. Um, I do want to show you guys the crimson. I, could, I don't think it's called crimson, but the crimson veil, I think it might be called. But um, I don't think we're ready for it yet with our gear. here make five ore which means we can oh and we had one already which means we can make two pieces of armor we could make an iron sword too and make us stronger but i think i want some armor because i want more hp so it gives us hp and plus attack so we'll do more damage regardless so let's put those on change how we look a little bit can we make no we only got one gold so we can't make anything else so that is a stone pickaxe. We already have, we have 240, so we are gonna buy this gold blade. And I am going to make a gold pickaxe so we can try our best to get diamondite stuff. See, so goldium, uh, we get an HP from it, attack and magic. And I'm pretty sure it's like random stat chances because that one's obviously pink, it's better. But. It really just depends. But now we can get all the ores from all the uh, veins that we find, the rock veins. Keep that so we can cook food later. I don't need a bug net, so I'm not worried about that. Um, okay. Right, since we do have more HP because of the armor, I'm going to drink this. Just to be safe, make sure we're at max HP. I need to remember to use my ability as well. And now I need to get a better axe and a better, uh, what's it called, sword. He's just gonna charge over there, that's fine. We could get XP from him, but we're doing all right. Magic guy, we're just gonna shoot him. Oh, we do enough damage now to where we can kill him in one shot, so that's nice. Means we might be ready for the next area. Always wanna look around. See, so having a bow is honestly kind of nice because you can just start destroying stuff. You don't have to get close to it. Two gold veins, so that's pretty good. We'll break this in case of an herb. No, it's just spider web, so we're good. With those, oops. More arrows. You can never have too many arrows, in my opinion. Oh, we leveled up to level 10, so we get another one of these. We're going to go ahead and go with the Hunter Path this time. 
And we get, what is it? Druid's arrow, perform an extra jump while summoning badass arrow based on dexterity. So if we press X, it'll do that. And it shoots down and hits stuff. We're gonna go ahead and pop this though. So we take less damage in case we were to get hit. I don't want, a cool thing is you can glitch them into the wall and they will disappear if you don't want stuff. Okay, so we just got another gold blade. So we can make a, um, gold sword. So that's attack plus 15 and that's only attack plus four. So it's like major upgrade right there. We also do have an Iron Knight Grey Blade. So what we can do with Grey Blades is you can only use them to make great axes, which is also plus 15. So we will hold on to this in case this breaks. The only thing about Grey Blades is they take so much longer to swing compared to just doing the same amount of damage, swinging faster. So it's it just really depends on how you want to play. Um, if you get Diamondite Great Blade, obviously it's better. You can do two coal for a fire starter too. It doesn't have to be a stone and a coal, by the way. There's another chest up here, so we're gonna go ahead and use an, our axe on it. Not waste durability. I don't need the bone arrow. Okay. What are you guys looking at over there? Just chilling. But as you can see, I've been taking this run a little bit slower just to show you guys what the game is about. Uh, we're already at 30 minutes and we're still in this first run. So it really just depends. Um, we're not gonna do this one. It's a dungeon, it's way difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. And it's the, it's called Veil Deep, it's Caves. Uh, there's a cool thing on this one that I am gonna do to unlock some stuff. So you guys will obviously see that when I do it, but. This should be pretty interesting for you. More arrows, we're gonna be using lots of those. We'll sell all this stuff. Um, we got three gold as well. But that's only enough to make one bar, so we're just kind of sitting on a bunch of stuff here. So it's not the best. We've seen we've seen better runs let's put it that way so i am gonna sell this i think i'm gonna sell this iron bar honestly because iron knight's not like that crazy sell this um i actually think i'll end up selling the great axe just because it swings so slow and i'm not a huge fan uh we still got a hunch durability so we're gonna sell the bow clear up some inventory space as well and then we can cook our food as well. Make sure we got enough cooked meat. Perfect. Have some inventory space. And since we're not using our money anyways, we'll go ahead and do this. Get a better ax. Oh, I glitched them out with the poops, so and now I can't sell stuff, so we're gonna just drop this bone axe here, and hold the iron one. Okay, so these caves, so these stuff's definitely tougher here, because it takes more than three shots with the arrows. And there will be different enemies that are unique to each biome, so you gotta watch out for that. Like this one has spider eggs here, because you'd think just because all the spiders, right? But see, if you break enough of these, which you guys wouldn't typically find out just like by yourselves. Okay, we're gonna do this because it might take damage. Okay, normally you would just find that out, this out from playing but I'm not gonna spoil it, you guys will see. Oh, that freaking rock was fake. I might die before I even get to show you what I was gonna show you because I'm playing like crap. 
I need to stop getting hit. Honestly. That's really what it comes down to. I need to stop getting hit. Time to start utilizing our bow a little bit more. all those spider webs monster hides but you gotta be careful because if you're running in these areas you can break these spider eggs just by walking on them and i don't remember how many it takes but you break enough of them and the spider mini boss shows up spot to get put in. Ooh, I almost got myself killed. See, you kill it. You get a mini boss. Got a bunch of XP. And you don't see what you unlock until after, but I know there's a chance of unlocking stuff from that one. We're gonna go ahead and do... I know I said strength build. We're gonna go ahead and do this one again. Just cause we might get... Yeah, the fire wisp. So I can press C and it'll do wisp it the cursor and it makes it so I do more damage with my bow. So there's just some cool abilities that can get thrown into. Uh, you can fight that spider mini boss multiple times. So you gotta watch out for that. I know the first time I ran into it, I was just running around here. Those kept dis- Oh, whoops, I didn't even mean to do it that time. Kept disappearing and I didn't know why. And then all of a sudden I was getting attacked and it can be kinda spooky if you're not ready. I mean, we're pros. We got this under control, right? Keep our stockpile arrows going. That reminds me I need to get some more wood for them. I'm not going to go down there if I don't have to, so we'll drop that stuff. Get some more stone and ironite. A little bit of goldium. Try to work up our stores. Drop some trees just so we can get some sticks to make more arrows. I always forget to dash, honestly. Because I just jump around stuff. Okay, we should be good for a bit. Oh, I thought we were getting closer to the end than we are. Oh, come on, dude. I thought you'd be dead before you got to me. Some cooked meat for free, so that's always nice. Can jump up here just to avoid any bad parkour issues where we would land on those spider eggs on accident. And we will go to Road Tree Belt. You can kill chickens for meat if you don't kill any pigs or anything in between other places as well. We got a wooden blade from one of the chests, as well as a sword hilt, but we don't really need a wood sword, so we'll probably just sell both of those. But we did get 10 iron, so I can make an iron shield. Perfect, ironite shield, HP, two more HP. We just can't seem to keep it full enough for that more stone arrows we can now that we have full iron armor we can start making iron arrows if we wanted to as well and saving those up because they help do more damage than just the normal stone ones we do need to eat real quick just the one okay hmm we have also have two so now we got two goldium bars but we also already have a sword and already have 
pickaxe. We don't really need a gold axe. That's kind of overkill for chopping trees. So we're just going to hold on to them. And if one of these breaks, we can make another one. Simple enough. Still didn't get any diamondite. I haven't found a diamondite in Bane this whole time, but we are getting into harder areas, so maybe we'll start two more. Who knows? Yeah, not much more we can do here, so we're gonna move on again. Okay, so we're in Roarvine Belt. This one, Mushroom People. I think it's adorable. Honestly, reminds me of Maple Story. Which I used to play all the time. I probably would still play it here and there. Just when I felt like it. If I could remember my login. I can't for the life of me remember my login. Because it's from ages ago. So I'd have to make a whole new account. We're just going to keep shooting stuff. Ooh. Already going to get some gold. So that's nice. Goldium. Sorry. I guess I should call it by proper name. Kill these jellyfish peeps. These guys have a chance to. You might see if we can do it. Um, it's cool because there's these little mushrooms that are like have the same um, attack patterns and everything. And AI is the just the normal slimes. So I think they're adorable. But these guys, what I'm saying is, sometimes they have a chance to drop um, a sword. That has, I think it's bad durability, but really good damage. So we'll see. We'll hope for that. Nope. No lucky drops for us, apparently. We don't need the bone. Don't need that. Don't need that. Just kind of keep our inventory managed while we're going through so we don't have to do it all at the end again. Oh, look, and there's an axe one. If we get close to him, he's just going to charge and swing his axe at us. So this game honestly is a lot easier if you just go bow class. But at the same time you gotta keep collecting. See he dropped two of them. You gotta keep collecting arrows, gotta keep doing that, gotta make the armor. It's just whatever you wanna do. See so it has oh you lose HP. But it's a hundred attacks, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And I think it's just a normal sword. No, it's a big sword. Oof. You know, we'll try it, we'll see. We'll see what's up. We're not ever at max HP anyway, so who cares about that, right? Don't need that. Uh, we can sell that, I guess. But if we get full on space, then that's the first thing that's going to go. I'll tell you that right now. One more. Perfect. Finally get some diamondite. Or goldium. And make another fire star, clear some room, room. Make some more arrows. Make a better health potion. Whoops. Big HP potion. But man, let me I, I tell you guys, when I first started this, I would start a run when I first played this game. I go through and I'd last maybe like five minutes. I feel like it swings slow, but it does so much more damage that we're able to just kill in one hit. Okay, we're going to go caves again. Just because I'm trying to prolong our lives. We're District 12, so we're a little over halfway through. Oh, we're still 99, so I'll sell that. Makes like four bucks. That's ridiculous. Uh, we will cook all of these. then we don't got to worry again about food for a while if I'm being honest oops unless I accidentally drop it there we go can make some more do, 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 do. So we had a gold sword, we have a gold pick, we can also make another bar, which means we can do this, which means we can make 
a diamondite pick, which, honestly, that one was a little bit better for us, but the thing that's nice about the diamondite pick is the durability is way higher, okay? And if we do make it to the end, you have to have a diamondite pick to get a certain ore. That's all I'm going to say until we get there. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you do need to have diamondite pick, I believe. So, I mean, they definitely do make it possible to get one by the time you get there, clearly. But you just, you just got to be careful. Oh, the whole... I was going to talk about it earlier, but I just spaced it and just remembered. The whole lore from behind this game is you're in deep haven um where everyone clearly lives underground now and you're trying to make it back to the surface so you're going through all the areas to try and get back to the surface i can't make anything else right um i could make gold armor actually That gives us more attack and more HP. Okay. And look, now we're, we're looking fresh. Back in the caves. So if we start doing good, we can kill that spider mini boss again, get some extra XP, get some more levels. Oh, he, uh, he turned around. Damn it. I thought he wasn't going to turn around. I was playing uh, the other day over the weekend. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know about it, but it reminds me of my childhood a lot because my dad used to play it. But I um, saw a clip for the Legacy of Kane series, specifically, dang it, I knew it, uh, Blood Omen 2. And I have, like, really, really high nostalgia with that game. Because, like I said, my dad just used to play it when I was younger. And, I mean, times were different back then, obviously. Rated M game. Young kid. Let me watch it. Let me play. But, you know what? I don't even care. Because he's a good dad. And it made my childhood what it was. That was one of the first games I played on the original Xbox. And I absolutely freaking loved it. And I still love it to this day. I found it on Steam, it was like seven bucks. Played it, got it to work for about an hour, and unfortunately I did end up doing, I very rarely do this, but I ended up doing a Steam refund actually, because it is, it's just the, the PC port. Um, I should have read it for use beforehand, but I didn't. But the PC port is just buggy and crashes, and until I did, like implemented my own fix, well not my fix, but like a fix, um, with the game files, it wouldn't even like load properly and boot up. And so after fighting it for so long and it's not optimized for controller or anything like it was on Xbox, it's not optimized for that on PC and the mouse and keyboard controls were just not the best. I finally just decided maybe I'll come back to it one day, but for now I'm going to refund it, you know, but, um, yeah, if there is a way for you guys to play like you still have an original xbox that works maybe or something like that then uh i would definitely say even i think there's some on pc the legacy of kane series that game specifically blood omen 2 was my favorite but it is a series from what i've watched and played that has a lot of deep lore Obviously, they're older games, so it's not the best graphics. Like, the one I'm talking about is finally one of the, like, 3D ones that's, in my opinion, looks pretty good compared to the other ones. Not that the other ones look awful, but um, looks good. It was 2002. So just bear that in mind when I'm saying this, because, I mean, they are older games. I said childhood. You have to assume it's going to be a little while ago. Then again, you guys don't know how old I am, so... You never know. But. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to. Bow on about it a little bit. I've had a lot of. Childhood nostalgia come up lately. Like. I was talking about Mario RPG. And some of my other videos. And then Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors. Getting remade next year. 
then that one just fell into my lap again. It's just... It's been an interesting past, like, week with nostalgic games. But... That being said, if any of you guys know how to play Blood Omen 2 without doing, like, the normal PC port, then, like, let me know. Because I honestly... I think my dad still has one of our original Xboxes. I might I might buy it and try to play it just for that, but I'll have to buy a controller or everything. And I wish that Xbox would do more backwards compatible stuff, if I'm being honest, just like for that reason. Because there's a lot of old games, I don't know why I did that, that I would love to go back and play, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um, we're going to eat some food first, try to restore health before we use our potion. So I got talking and I took some hits there, man. Don't need the string. I could sell this stuff, but really, eh, what do I need money for? And their belly's starting to go down on that. We're going to go back to the belt. Wild rock belt. I like how each place is called different, too. We got a lot of iron. I don't have enough sticks. I was going to say we, say we can make iron, a bunch of iron arrows, but I'll get sticks in the next area. I really don't need these because I'm good on food, too. I just need to stop getting hit. That's what I need to do. I need to pay attention. Stop just jabbering. Oh, we need one more to make another piece of armor. Dang it. Sell these. Sell this. What is there for sale? There is a health potion. We have $900. I could buy a small health potion for 40 Why not? Help us a little bit anyways. Um, Don't really need much else. But yeah, you'll see different races and stuff in here. Like that's an Orclops. But yeah. Um, going back to Blood Omen 2. I don't know if any of you guys that watch do know about it but like if you know what i'm talking about or there's any games that hit you really hard from childhood like that i'd love to hear them i love just chatting about games so drop them down in the comments below and we can chat about it i want to hear you guys thoughts on it if you do know about it let me know i know that i don't think there's a ton of people out there but i do think the people that have played the legacy of kane series are pretty solid like devoted fan group and i know i'm not alone in wanting to probably get them backwards compatible and be able to play through them again but yeah i'm just interested to hear what you guys have to say so if you got any insights on it oh i didn't even see that slime or mushroom slime if you guys have any insights on it or thoughts about it then by all means let me know jellyfish die Ooh, he almost got me Oh, I need to chop trees, that's right. He ran away from me when I hit him. How come they can shoot through floors, but I can't, huh? That's not fair. Why do these guys give him meat? That's the real question. I don't. I'm gonna make a bunch of iron arrows. I probably don't need those if I'm being realistic. Just have those as a backup, I guess, because I have so many stone arrows. Oh, I didn't even see this. Glad I went back for wood. Just have it. Don't need those. Um, don't need that. Don't need those. Eat. We're almost dead, by the way. We're like constantly in this state of limbo of almost dying. I remember to use my ability for once and it didn't even I missed. 
Oh, I press the wrong button. Can I kill you, please? Me too. Oh, almost died. So I missed, almost mistimed it. Ooh. Give me all that XP. Give me the levels. We got a bunch of arrows. Why not just fire them off? Durability. Yeah, it's still 100. We're good. getting hit. I probably would have hit him with swords more if I thought I'd make it without getting hit. But I've noticed bushes and things like that definitely drop more um what's called herbs and things like that in the green forest in the beginning of the game. Ooh, almost got smacked. If I can press the right button, maybe we'll be able to kill this Mushroom Mage. I think I might be able to kill him with the sword though, because he's gonna charge me. Yay. But they got reached too, so you gotta watch out. Okay, we're good. Level 23, so we're doing pretty solid. If only we could get our health back. Oh, nice. We got an herb and an HP potion. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it since we're so close to death, anyways. I'm not gonna wait until we get another herb. We're just gonna. Oh, I was gonna say leave him alone, but I don't think we have the opportunity to do that because I need this diamond knight and he's gonna keep trying to kill us. So we gotta kill some stuff. Yeah, I see him coming. Okay, we did it. We survived. So nice, I can get rid of this. I can take this. Give us a little bit more health. Uh, I'll just sort my inventory once we get in here since we can sell stuff anyways. Oh, we were almost in there long enough, that music. I don't know if you heard it for a second, it started. Um, that was the Scourge invading. Uh, meant we stayed too long in the area. Dude, don't do this to me. Every once in a while, this treasure guy will glitch out. Or, like, the the NPCs in the place will glitch out and you can't use them. And it's, quite honestly, just stupid. Because I have all these items that I need to use. And I can't. Hey, come on, man. There we go. Hey, chest piece last time. Let's make a helmet. We big pimp it now. Look at us. Gold arrows, why not? I'm looking, we can make one diamond eye bar. Wow. I don't know if I'd consider this stuff treasure, but I'll sell it to you nonetheless, my guy. I don't have enough for that. I don't remember what it does, but I don't have enough for it. I need an iron great blade. Alright. Keep it schmoovin'. This is, see, this is an example of a long run. Normally I die before now, if I'm being honest. But, oh, okay. I was gonna say we're doing pretty good, and then I got myself slapped, so that's cool. I don't, I just make stuff out of habit. I don't even need it anymore, and I just make it. 
That's how it goes, I guess. Play game enough and some muscle memory, yeah. Okay, I don't need 99 of those, so we'll swap them out. Where's my food? Did I sell my food? Did I drop my food? I don't have any more food. Did I eat all my food? Oh, you scared me, sheep. Give me your meat. None of those sheep gave me meat. Jesus. A new jelly sword? I don't take it. Because mine probably is not quite to the point where I need a new one, but it doesn't hurt. 61 out of 65, 100 out of 65, yeah, it doesn't hurt. It just honestly gets to the point where stuff hurts so much, it's kind of ridiculous, you know what I mean? Okay, apparently we're just going to get the stuff back, it's not going to go through all like normal. That's fine. Just make arrows. When in doubt, make arrows. Hmm. I need to cook this, but I'll wait until I get some more food. Because two isn't really enough to constitute a whole fire. This is one scenario where I'm glad the mushrooms give us stuff. I don't need to break that. I don't think, I, I guess I can make iron arrows. Give me the iron knight. He's gonna shoot at me. Called it. You did. Wow. Well, all right. I don't need the stone. I really, I just don't need the stone. For being real. Honestly, I could just shoot you a couple times, but it's unnecessary. I need to cook food soon. My stomach is beginning to grumble. I didn't even see it. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. You're just gonna, you're just gonna die. Uh, XP and it's enough to level me up. So we are gonna grab it. Uh, you notice we hit another five level and we didn't get another thing. You can only have up to three little abilities, by the way. I never mentioned that, but I'm sure you caught on. Don't, I don't want to. Okay, we will cook our food real quick. Because even if the scourge does come for some reason, we can just dip real quick. so we can have sticks to make more iron arrows because we're down to 20. Herb? Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Go away. A little pile of poopy. Okay. Um, I know this place sucks, so we're going to go here because I don't remember what it is. It's the crater. Okay. I think this place sucks too. I think it has like aliens. But we're far enough in the game to where it's just kind of that point now. Honestly. Okay. One away from a shield. Damn. Keep your eye out for a gold bar, I guess. In the wares. Nothing. 
no such thing. Keep that herb just in case. Honestly, I don't really have anything to sell either. So I'm just going to keep going. Keep this run going strong. Oh, my God. All right. Golden chest. So that could have really good stuff in it. But these guys also hurt immensely. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't hit my shots. For the life of me. I'm too scared to go down the earth. Okay. See, that's what's nice about gold chests. Is we just got a six shield, so we don't even need to make a gold shield anymore. Magic attack and HP. Like, hell yeah. So we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Pretty alright. What is moving over there? I don't Oh, it's just glitching, I guess. Tripping me out is what it's doing. Oh, these hurt, don't they? These purple things. I remember. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, butterflies. Butterflies. Butterfly in the sky. We can go so high. I don't want to be part of the reading rainbow right now, please. Can you just go away? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go back up. Oh, oh, shit, I knew I shouldn't have done that. This might be it, guys. The other place wouldn't have been any better, though, if I'm being honest, so. Oh, it's a spaceman. Spaceman fell down. Butterfly's on the bottom. That's not a good place for him. Spaceman, die, please. Holy cow, dude, you have so much health. I know I have better arrows, but I'll start using when I run out of these ones. If he hits me, I'm so dead. I got five health. Brother, can you die, please? I don't got time to do this. The Scourge is going to arrive. I think I get something from killing him, though. At the end of the run. Okay, I'm out of stone arrows. Uh, boop, boop. Okay. Didn't move my cursor back far enough. Thank you. Holy. Oh, I thought that thing was going to kill me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I thought that purple thing was going to kill me. Okay, we are going to... No, we only have four. Oh, you scared me, buddy. I got uh, some items I gotta look at. I was in the inventory, so I almost wasn't able to attack. Shit. I should have just waited. Damn. Okay, so when you die, you get a score. So we got 4,190 as our run score. You click these. See, and we got the minor cap, because we, I'm assuming, mind ores. We got the tiki mask from the swamp people. 
we got the regen fairy because we made it to what was it the district 15 i said dang that sucks we got the bandicoot i don't remember what unlocks the bandicoot but that's nice crusader hell yeah and berserker scarf okay so we unlocked quite a few things ended up with 4440 gives us our stats there we can either play again or go to menu so we're actually going to go to menu go single player we're going to look at the new stuff so we got the bandicoot 50 percent unlock chance at the fizzing crater okay so we got it from fizzing the crater 20 percent unlock chance after acquiring your second skill in the playthrough so we just got lucky Oh, we don't have the second variant unlocked for him. Uh, Tiki Mask. 20% after visiting a swamp, so we got lucky. Magical Mask is to be cursed. Upon arriving at a new district, you have 50% chance of gaining 3 HP or losing 1k. The wearer has a 25% chance of yielding another ore, so that's pretty nice for ore. Uh, Berserker Scarf. The scarf is worn by legendary warriors who died fighting the Scourge in the early days of Deep Haven. 33% chance to on level up to gain additional attack stats, so that's pretty good for strength builds. Oh, I didn't unlock the other, even though I shot Lyros. But yeah, you can go through these, and there's different ways to unlock them. Press L. Okay, but that doesn't... I don't think it does anything. That's just a developer's head mask. And we got the regen fairy. So when we reach the end of a district and go to the shop area in between, we're going to get one HP back. So that's nice. Beating the game. Level 40. We were pretty close. We were like 28. Beating game under level 5. Dang. Don't interact with NPCs. Dang. Don't chop a single tree. Holy shit. Three legendary swords. And that's the scale we had equipped. I don't know, it's that it wasn't I like. That's another if you get a scale it works as a shield. So the companions are hard to get, but yeah. Pretty fun game. Lots of replay value. It's fun just to do a run or two when you got free time, so that was Magicite. Look into the the past, one of my games that I used to play all the time that I like a lot. I guess not all the time. I only have like 40 hours in. But for a little game like this, I feel like that's quite a bit. Personally. But, yeah. If you guys want Magicite Mondays to be a thing. See a run or two like this. Um, by all means, let me know. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Um, put your comments down below. Um, let me know your thoughts on the game. If you not this, uh, if you don't want me to play this, then what else you want me to play? Just anything you want to share, really. I don't mind having a conversation. And if you did enjoy, and you are not already, consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about Magic Sign Mondays. Uh, I enjoy this game a lot. And I will be happy to play more of it for you guys if that's what you want. Yeah. That's all the time I got for this one. So, until next time, guys. I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.